What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is week four for the sign of Leo. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, and Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. If it wants that spring wheel, only take the messages that resonate with you. I got three channel messages in as I was meditating on your week four, December 2021's energy. So I'm going to share those in just a second. But I want to say real quick, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. You really are. I appreciate every like, subscribe, share, unlike. Um, every single donation, everything. Um, you guys are just the best. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. It's my private PayPal account. You're welcome to donate that way if you would like. I do not have YouTube Live on right now, so you cannot donate that way. But if you would like to donate, it's very private and confidential through my private pay PayPal account. And I do not share your name or how much you donate if you choose to donate that way. Okay. So, um, this could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, Jupiter, Jupiter charts. Um, I got three channelings in as I was meditating on your week four, December 2021's reading. The first one I heard about to get serious and focus on weight loss. That was the first one. So, you plug it in how it resonates. The second one I heard a Leo feminine is about to be busted for fraud. Um, and the third one, oh crap, oh your time to shine, your time to shine. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. The, I mean, minus the particular Leo Femme in the universe that's about to get busted for fraud, the other two are great. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So at least about to get serious about weight loss. So I feel, I didn't hear Leo. So it could be you about to get serious about and focusing on weight loss or somebody you're connected to. You plug that in, how that resonates. But Healthy weight loss energy, hopefully in a healthy way, not losing freaking 10 or 20 pounds in freaking two days, just saying. Healthy, copacetic weight loss. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, your time to shine. So that could be you or somebody you're connected to. Somebody's time to shine, baby. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, that's beautiful energy. And then I heard a Leo fem feminine, Leo Femme, is about to get busted for fraud. So you plug it in, however that resonates. Uh, Leo feminine in the universe, 35 or below, 35 and below, sorry, 35 and below, Leo feminine. Okay, 35 and below Leo fem. So it's the 35 and below Leo fem about to get busted for fraud, number three. Well, I don't want to give you the bird. 35 and below Leo fem about to get busted for fraud. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. But congrats if Leo, if you're the one about to really get serious and start focusing on um, healthy weight loss, congrats to you. Um, if it's not you, it might be somebody you're connected to, but congrats to whoever that's for. And then your time to shine. So I feel for some of you guys, it's your time to shine, baby. It's your time to shine. For some, it could be somebody you're connected to, but you plug it in how it resonates, but that's beautiful energy. It's coming in your reading. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it is your time to shine. And I feel you're about to really start focusing on healthy weight loss. But if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. Everybody's on different time and life paths, so you plug it in how it resonates. But a Leo Femme 35 and below is about to get be in for it, buddy. They're about to get busted for fraud, I'll tell you that. Yikes. Two of Swords Reverse. Eight of Cups Upright. Someone, this Leo Feminine 35 and below... Is about to divulge very important information on her. They would have never thought they were going to, but they are. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so someone, this Leo Finn, 35 and below, about to get busted for fraud is coming very strong. So how that resonates, I heard basically um, someone that she would have never thought that is connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. Is about to divulge very important information on her. I think that's um, it's going to lead to a conviction for her or an indictment or something of that nature. I didn't hear a conviction or indictment. That's just my logic, intuition, and reasoning on that. But it's somebody she would have never, ever, ever expected, I think, in a million years to divulge this important information on her is about to. So, um, however, that resonates for this Leo Femme 35 and below energy. Two of Swords Reverse, Eight of Cups Upright.
For some, Leo, someone from the past is about to come back. For some, it is a lover of the past. For some, it's a former co-worker. For some, it's a family member. Use your best discernment and judgment. You're highly intuitive. It's very important to make smart decisions at this time. Do not allow them back if they have wronged you in the past. Or unless they divulge important information. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. So whoever this is for, it's somebody from your past, whoever this is for, Leo, if this resonates for you. It's somebody trying to come back from your past, if this resonates. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's a lover of the past. And for some, it is a co-worker of the past. So um, a lot of past energy here. For some, it is someone you grew up with. For some, it is someone you grew up with. So for some, it's someone you grew up with. For some, it's a lover of the past. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's a co-worker of the past. But however that plugs in, um, I heard basically be very smart. I heard you're highly intuitive. Whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. So I think your third eye is open. Your intuition's on point. Um, I feel for some of you have had awakening or awakenings. And um, it's heightened your intuition. Um, but however that resonates, basically, I heard do not allow them back. Do not allow them back unless they um, basically come, come correct. Um, I heard unless they import and divulge and very important information. So I'm assuming honesty, truth, and clarity of whatever very important information they need to divulge to you. Only you would know your story. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, and I feel for who this is for, you're highly intuitive. So you know what information they need to divulge. And I think they're highly intuitive and they know what information they need to divulge. So, um, this is you not making a decision yet because for who this is for, it hasn't happened yet. So it's very, you, you I feel you're going to feel very undecided. You're probably taking it back. For some, it could be one person trying to come back. For some, it could be two plus. There's four categories here. But I think um, you probably, I'm feeling you're probably going to need to make a head over heart decision here because I feel you're going to be very undecided when they come back for some. For some, you might just like, Slice and dice them. Just cut them out like Queen of Swords energy. But for some, you might teeter. That's why you have two of swords reversed. Very undecided. But um, basically, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. But if it was me, if they don't come correct, they don't come at all. That's me in my life, period. Of course, you could take the advice or leave it. Um, and then you have the cups energy. Eight of cups upright. You're going to feel emotional when they come back. You're going to feel emotional. But... I feel you need, and I didn't hear this from spirit. This is just from me. I would make a head over heart decision here. I would make a head over heart decision because you're going to be in your feels emotional and undecided when they try, when they try to come back. For some, I feel you have memories for them with them. For some, I feel they were probably good memories for, with a, some of these people. Um, and it's going to make you emotional when they try to come back, but they have betrayed you in a huge way. They have to be honest. Intuitively, you know this. Okay, I heard, but they have betrayed you in a huge way. Um, you, they need to be honest. So when they come back, you're going to be emotional. You, you're not going to, you're going to be undecided because you're going to be emotional because you, for some, I feel you had good memories with them or good S memories with them. But I heard from spirit, they betrayed you. They straight up betrayed you and they need to be honest. So if they don't come correct, they don't come at all would be how I would do that. Of course, everybody has free will and you can handle this however you want. But when they come back, you're going to, I feel you're going to be undecided and emotional. So hopefully this can give somebody a heads up before all these person or people start bombarding back into your life, Leo, because you're going to be in your field. So just saying, just saying, um, I slice and dice these, way, these days. I'm a Leo son, yes, but I take on Queen of Swords energy. I slice and dice. That's just me, but you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have a sign of Leo. A particular Leo is very, very, very regretful of how they treated a former nurse in the past. They are about to FTC report to help this former nurse out. This nurse has a family. 
oh my god so you plug it in how it resonates so nurse to nurse energy if this resonates with you leo this resonates with you leo you're a nurse um now a nurse that's all i heard so you could be an lpn lvn rn nurse anesthesiologist a nurse practitioner there's many facets of nursing you plug it in how it resonates i feel you could either be lpn lvn rn nurse anesthesiologist or nurse practitioner how that resonates but you are a nurse and i heard you're very 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 regretful of how you treated a, a fellow nurse in the past basically um very regretful i heard you are so regretful you're about to ftc report which is federal trade commission report to help this nurse and her family out so you treated her badly um it sounds like probably really badly in the past in some shape form or fashion but it's so badly it constitutes a federal trade commission report um however that resonates for some i feel it could go secret seven situation possibly but it doesn't have to be you have to plug in your life however it resonates if it resonates for you but it's so bad it constitutes a federal trade commission report now anybody doesn't know federal trade commission report is basically um reporting on any scams spams fraudulent activity um identity theft um um illegal businesses i.e secret seven because they made an illegal business out of that single mom's home that she paid a rent or mortgage on they made a legal business out of it um or any other kind of catfishy fraudy activities basically um ftc reporting identity theft things of that nature but um I heard you're very, very regretful, whoever you are, nurse. It's a nurse to nurse energy. So whoever this is that you feel very regretful that you treated so horribly in the past, they are a nurse too. Um, either LPN, LVN, RN, nurse anesthesiologist, nurse practitioner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I heard you're about to help them out in Federal Trade Commission report. Whatever in the world happened in the past. It's something that happened in the past, but you treated them so horribly. You're going to help them out now with the federal trade commission report so you plug it in how that resonates nurse uh, leo whoever you are the sun upright the emperor upright a particular leo and their twin flame is about to reconnect they have really, 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 really matured a lot since they have really been around them the last time. This Leo is about to realize this. Many series of shame events is going to occur between these two. Oh my gosh, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates twin flame reconciliation. Holy crap, so you plug it in, how it resonates. If this resonates for you, Leo, um, somebody's about to reconnect with their twin flame. Just for real, for real. Um, holy crap. Um, it's somebody from the past, obviously, and you're not in current energetic connection with them, I'll tell you that. Um, but I feel they either know they're your twin flame or you know they're your, you either, they either know they're your twin flame or you know they're your twin flame or both. However, that resonates, but somebody knows somebody's twin, they're their twin flame up in this biatch, either both of you or one of you or whoever. Um, for some, it could be a former lover, for some, a former spouse, for some, um, just friend. Because, you know, just because y'all were never dated or were together doesn't mean it wasn't your twin. So you plug it in how it resonates, but I heard you're about to reconnect with them soon. So I don't know if you're going to initiate it or they're going to initiate it or what have you, but. I heard they have matured at basically a ton since the last time you have been in um, connection with them. So the last time you were around them, I feel in the physical 3D, they have matured a lot. And they're coming up as the emperor upright energy. So when they, somebody does not abuse the power of the emperor energy, it's a very wonderful energy. It's when they abuse the power of the emperor energy is when it turns terrible. Um, so um it's really good energy when it's not abused basically and it's going to make you very very happy heard they've matured a ton they have matured a freaking ton um you plug it in however it resonates for some it's a virgo for some it's an aries for some it's a pisces for some it's an aquarius 
Oh, okay. Whoa. I heard for some of you guys, it's a Virgo. For some, it's an Aries. For some, it's a Pisces. For some, it's an Aquarius. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. So there's at least four of you guys. It sounds like you're about to come in reconciliation with your twin. Now, just because you come into reconciliation with your twin does not mean y'all get back together or you start dating or what have you. I just want to make that very perfectly clear. It's how you manifest and grow it, how they manifest and grow it. You could just communicate and move on your merry way, and that could be the end of it. Um, or you could grow and manifest it, however that resonates. But I heard Virgo for some, Aries for um, not Aries. Yeah, I did. Virgo for some, Aries for some, Aquarius for some. And what was the other one? Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, and there was another one. I forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. That was four. Virgo, Aries, Aquarius. There was another one. I can't, you have to go back and check it. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. That was the fourth one. They could have Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midtown, and Jupiter charts. So this is your Emperor energy over here. Now, this is technically Aries energy. It is. But anybody can be the Emperor as long as they grow and manifest themselves in the proper manner. So for some of you guys, your emperor, i.e. your twin flame, is a Virgo. For some, it's an Aries. For some, it's an Aquarius. For some, it's a Pisces. So this is your Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, or Aries energy over here. Um, and it's going to make you very happy, I think, to reconnect with them, however that resonates for you. And this is your energy, Leo energy, um, the sun. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Lots of truth, honesty, and clarity here. Lots. For some, they've been waiting to do this a long time. Really want to do it the right way. Oh, my God. I heard lots of truth, honesty, and clarity here. For some of these um, emperor twin flame energies about to come into your life, back into your life, I heard they've been wanting to do it a long time. Um, they've just been waiting for the right time. So it sounds like they've been all growing and manifesting themselves. Obviously, they've matured a ton, whoever this is for. Um, and they want to come and re-enter your life in a positive, copacetic manner is what I'm feeling. Just don't let them walk all over you, Leo. Don't let them walk all over you. Just saying, just saying. Set healthy boundaries. Let them know you mean business. Ain't going to be nobody's doormat, I hope. Just saying, just saying. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Okay. Let's pull an oracle card and then we'll close it. Spirit messages you have a sign of Leo. Healing. I feel guided to get one more. One of these particular twin flames are going to ask you to take a vacation with them. Use your best discernment and judgment. Okay, I heard one of these particular twin flames are going to ask you to take a vacation with them. Use your best discernment and judgment. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates in your life, Leo. At least one of you guys, there's at least four twin flame emperor S type energies about to try to come back for at least four of you guys. For some, it could be more. Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, and, oh, crap. Man, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, and, I'm drawing, oh, Aries, Aries. Um, but I heard basically um, one of them, so for one of you guys, however it plugs in your life, you have to plug it in how it resonates. One of them is going to ask you to go on a vacation with them. I heard you use your best discernment and judgment. So if you don't feel it's the right time, if you feel the relationship has not progressed the way it needs to progress, when they ask you to go on the vacation, of course, you know, everybody has free will and you can deny and decline to go. Um, or you can accept. Everybody has free will. Healing upright, strength upright. Um, you have the um, ancient oak spirit, which is earth sign energy in here. So for some, you can be dealing um, 
the Taurus, Taurus Capricorn Virgo possibly. If you are, they can have Taurus Capricorn or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamid, and Jupiter charts. At least one of you guys are because one of you guys, your twin flames of Virgo. So just saying, just saying. Um, or you could be dealing with them in some other shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates. But somebody's about to have a lot of people come back into their life. And that's just the truth for real for real. So one of you guys, it's a twin flame. One, it's a bunch of people from the past. Healing. For one particular twin flame situation, they're going to help their twin in a huge way. Going to block several people from coming back into their life. They know they're very toxic for them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, twin flame energy coming in so strong. So for one of you guys, your twin flame, I guess knows that several people want to come back into your life in the past. Um, whoever this is for, uh, your twin knows. They know, I think they've been following you in some shape, form, or fashion. Hopefully not creepy, stalky, stalkery following you. But somehow they're connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion to where they know or they've been keeping up with you in some shape, form, or fashion to know that you have a bunch of toxic people from your past basically about wanting to come back, basically. But it's just, it's for one of you guys out there. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But however this resonates, they know they want to come back. And I heard this twin, whoever this is for, your twin is going to, it sounds like create series of chain events to prevent them from coming back. It is going to be very effective. They are serious, and they mean business. Oh, shit. Okay, I heard it's going to be effective. They are serious, and they mean business. So, at least one of you guys is twin. They don't want toxic people from your past coming back, basically. They don't want toxic people from your past coming back. I heard they're going to create um, series. Of, it sounds like negative series of chain events for them to prevent them from even coming back towards you. Um, I heard it's going to be very effective. So you plug it in how it resonates. Hopefully they're not being overly controlling on you. And hopefully when they reconnect with you, they will tell you the truth. Um, because if they loved you and they cared about you, they would tell you the truth um, about it all, in my opinion. But you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Hopefully it's protecting energy, protector energy and not controlling energy. I'm hoping. But you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so healing. There are many series of chain of events. A particular Leo is about to get lots of healing. Some sexual healing. Some a gift from their twin. A toy. <laughs> Whoa! Shit, you can't make this up. Oh my God! Whoa! Well, that's, that's actually pretty creative and genius and wonderful. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So, for at least one of you guys, your twin is coming in so strong for somebody. But um, your twin, I heard you're about to... <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny. I think it's actually pretty great. But I heard you're about to get sexual healing, a gift from your twin, a toy. So I think that whoever this is for, I think your twin knows you haven't had sex in a while. I think for who this is for, I think you've been celibate for a hot minute. And I'm serious. And I think your twin knows that in all seriousness. I think they know that. I think you, they know you've been celibate or you've either been celibate or you haven't had much sex. How that resonates. But I think your twin knows this. I think they know it. And they're going to help you with some kind of sexual healing. And it sounds like um, they're going to gift you a sex toy. Uh, which is going to give you sexual healing and help you release your sexual frustration. Um, so healing, in this case, it is sexual healing with the with the sex toy. And let me tell you, there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing freaking wrong with that. Everybody should embrace their sexuality and the the fact that 
as people, we have sexual urges. Now, it's all in how we handle it. Um, and that's just the truth. But um, somebody is about to, their twin, it sounds like they have really thought this out or they're about to think it out. And they're about to come up with a very creative way to help your sexual urges, Leo. And to me, it's a very thoughtful, wonderful gift, to be honest with you. I think it's a thoughtful, wonderful gift. They're about to give you a toy. I think it's wonderful. For some, I think it might be like a um, pocket mm -mm -mm, or a um, just saying, just saying. Um, I can't, it's YouTube. I can only go so far. Um, or a very large phallic object if you are feminine or you can be masculine. Um, that maybe vibrates, just saying, just saying, or has the wavy parts on the top to make it extra special and sensitive. I don't know, but some kind of sex toy energy, sexual healing in this instance. Holy crap. This is great though. This is great. So, you know, I just want to say they're thinking about your needs. They're thinking about your needs. They know they can't get it in with you right now. They know they can't get in with you right now because whoever this is, you're about to reconnect with them. So, I mean, be like, hey, let's go banging in the bedroom. No, anybody with sense in their head ain't going to be doing that shit, um, at least with reasonable sense in their head. And that's true. But I think your twin knows this. So that's how they're going to help your sexual healing because they know they can't. They have to build up the trust and respect with you again. So what better way than to give you a sex toy? I mean, of course, you can decline the toy if you want or not. And it's going to be very, very, very healing for you and this twin. Good, mature conversation, laughter, and joy. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. This is beautiful. Okay. I heard it's going to be very, very good conversation with you and this twin. Lots of laughter, healing, and joy. So healing in this situation is the happiness and laughter and joy between you and this twin um, in this aspect. For you, it, the sexual healing for you with the gift of the sex toy, but between you and the uh, twin, it's going to be laughter and joy and happiness which i'm sure you probably had with this twin at one point in time whenever you reconnect um when you connected with them in the past and obviously you got close enough to them in some shape form or fashion that developed a bond in some shape form or fashion whether you dated them you were a spouse to them you were a fiance or you were just a friend it got close enough in the past to where you were able to have that happiness is what i'm saying so it sounds like you're going to have it again in the emo uh, in in the communication department in the happiness and joy department without feeling pressured for sex uh, for whoever this is for. That's beautiful. String. You give your twin a lot of string. They're they're about to tell you. This person respects you very much. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard you give your twin lots of strength. They respect you very much. So we have the strength card. So whoever you are, that's about to, you're, somebody's twins coming in so strong. I mean, that's all, we're freaking 29 minutes in. That's what most of it is. Um, I heard you give your twin lots of strength um, and they respect you a lot. So, and that would make sense with the sex toy gift. They're not going to try to get it in with you when they reconnect with you. They're not going to try to convince you to go to the bedroom and bang it out for three hours. I mean, I'm sure maybe some of you, I don't know if you want to or not, but I'm just saying um, that's not the smart route to go at the beginning, though. I mean, for some, you might not have seen this person in 10 years. For some, it might have been 10 months. For some, it might have been 20 years. I mean, you have to reconnect the bond, reheal the bond. I mean, you've got healing. So... But I think your twin knows this. They're highly intuitive. They're highly freaking intuitive who this is for. So um, I heard you give them lots of strength and they respect you. So that's good. Strength, respect. You, I think they feed off your positive energy. Whoever you are, I think you're an empath. I didn't hear that, but I feel you are. I think you're an empath. Hopefully it's not a narcissist. 
And if they are, hopefully you block their ass in a New York minute. But I think you're empath, but also think you're intuitive. So I think you will pick up on the fact whether they're a fake twin or a real twin too. For some, you're going to have a fake twin attempt to come back. You need to use your best discernment. For some, a fake twin. For some, a real twin. For some, both. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates, okay? So for some of you guys, you're going to have a fake, tw fake twin come back. So fake twin flame. For some, a real twin flame. And for some, both. A fake twin flame and a real twin flame. But you need to use your best discernment and judgment. So you, in this aspect, you need to use your strength and your boundary setting and determine whether they're a real twin flame to you, a fake twin flame to you, or what have you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Taurus is about to help out a Leo and their twin flame in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge. Through many series of chain events upcoming soon. Taurus masculine. Okay, well, you, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, now you're pulling in Taurus energy, which um, that's the Earth sign energy. Um, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. I heard a particular Taurus masculine is about to help out you, Leo, and your twin flame soon through many upcoming series of chain of events. So Taurus masculine energy in your energetic space. Now, for some, you could be dealing with this Taurus masculine in the everyday 3D realm, or for some, it could be a Taurus masculine in your past. You plug it in however it resonates, but somehow they're about to help out you and your twin. For some, I feel your tor the Taurus masculine knows your twin. Um, and for some, I feel they know both of you. Um, or maybe your twin deals with the Taurus masculine. Um, I'm not, you kind of have to plug it in however it resonates. If it resonates for you, I feel it can go several different ways for several different people. But the Taurus masculine, whoever this is in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, or your twin's life, or both, uh, they obviously are very fond of you and your twin. And um, I heard they're going to create positive series of chain events that's going to really help you and your twin soon. So that's beautiful. So you plug it in however it resonates. It's a Taurus masculine energy. Um, they can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, and Jupiter charts. And the Taurus is not your twin, but the Taurus knows, I think, of your twin, or they or connect with your twin, or they know you have a twin. However, that resonates. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And namaste, my dear.